Wheels on the bus going round, damn round. Got the wheels on the bus going round, damn round. Uh, ooh, yeah. Wheels going round, damn round, yeah. And we rolling, rolling, rolling through your town, yeah. Hey, round and round and round and round and round. Yeah. What's going on? Welcome to another edition of the Big Ugly Sports Show brought to you by the Bank of Dudley. We are your first and your only source for mediocre, below average sports coverage. Glad you could join us this morning. My name is Chill. Got a lot to talk about today. Got Braves in a slump. UGA baseball, though, on the way up. A lot of good things happening. Got a, uh, another round of the bus cup with an intriguing uh, event that I'm ready to see happen on here. So, uh, Wade's been holding this one in his pocket. So, exciting times. Can height can height increase his bus lead, or can somebody else jump Is on? Is Wade still involved with bus? He's still involved, okay. and we're mixing things up this morning. Let's let me get to these intros, okay? Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. He's a redheaded. He looks like chewed up bubblegum with his shirt off. Nobody drives out of brisket quite like him. His face is fat, but his head is small. I'm talking about Matt Opie Hightower. Just right, being first. Never ever thinking there was danger in the water <laughs> They were drinking, they just guzzled it down Never that's dreaming that a scheming shirt Did he get marker all over? No, that's what happens when you come in late You don't plug your mic in, you ain't got access to no mic I plugged mine in for sure Say it again, oh, welcome back, bud Feels good to be first <laughs> First or what? Intro All right you wouldn't know. I was Sitting over here to my left, he had a cup of coffee in the Marines. They call him short, starry, long. He survives daily off of five-hour energy shots. He is the few. He is the proud, but very few are proud of him. I'm talking about the bear, <laughs> Mitch Lawhorn. Good morning, fellas. <laughs> nice to be back. I love, nice you, I love back. you to play on words there, too. There you go. You're welcome. We're working on that one. <laughs> and I had to save the best for last. Sitting to my right, he is a UGA graduate. He's a diehard dog. He can make a bottle of mouth wide stink. His bottom row looks like he bit a brick. He's co-owner of the Big Ugly Sports Show. Put your hands together for Adam Height High Tower. Get him up, Height. Get him up. <laughs> Tired this morning. Oh, wait, hey, way to get him up. Good energy. Tired get him up. Get him up. <laughs> hey, listen, people, people understand that. They relate to it. So the reason I mixed it up is after listening to Rick and Bubba so long, he kind of introduces everybody, but then he saves Bubba's for the main coming in last. So I think we need to switch up the order and let you be. That makes sense. That let, makes perfect. Get these sense. other peons out the way. I feel uncomfortable watching y'all two together sometimes. Why? Just I Me, can't believe you that much public greatness? display of affection. Oh, I thought you were going to say greatness in front, of, in front of, of you. I would consider that professionalism. You've never. Apparently, you've never seen uh, Check Round Jay. Hey, I tell you what we can do. Let's just come into the set. Let's just make a lot of noise. Let's get up and move around. Let's not have, you know, just our napkins and everything we need on the table so we don't have to get up and rumble around and just knock stuff over and oh, here we be go. hefty over here. <laughs> <laughs> the people don't anyone, like all that anyone is why background miss. noise. He wonders why I miss. Mm -hmm. I, I have to take it's a day expected. off from you guys. Well, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Uh, where are we? Days off wherever you are listening, make sure you are subscribed. Uh, visit our website www.thebiguglysportshow.com uh, Picked up another subscription this week on YouTube So just slowly climbing I mean, couldn't be in more of a rut for our show Like right now as far as ratings go But, you know, kind of like the Braves Which we're going to talk about a little bit You go through these seasons And we're kind of in one right now So we need our we, people to step We need our friends and listeners That have been longtime listeners Loyal listeners To to get back in their groove It's I get it. it's easy to fall out sometimes But we need you you're the reason we do the show. We gotta have you. I feel like it's hard for us to gain traction on new listeners because you like for me, I'll get somebody. Man, I've, I've heard y'all show it. Man, it's hilarious. But I feel like they they've just heard it once. Like they didn't circle back to catch. What to get I get oftentimes is I get sick. Of man, y'all y'all still doing the show? Yeah, we still doing it. Man, I love y'all show. Oh, you, but you ain't listening no more. Man, my ride, man. It just I ain't my schedule ain't the same no more and. Crazy, you can't pause this and restart it. Or yeah, I know. It's not like it's available yeah. anytime you need it. Really, think, about wherever you want it to. Would you compare their attendance to Jay's? Who's that? <laughs> intern Jay. Oh, intern Jay, yeah. Intern Jay. Intern Jay. I knew, I knew he wasn't going to, you know, it's ranching season for him as he's preparing the dove field and all that. So he's just, only cowboys can understand. We can't really relate. I never know. Oh, I got too. my vegetable garden. You can relate to it. And I you're here. Wow. I never knew it took you so much energy. At the country club? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm the vice president. I think Law's headphones are not working. He didn't hear me talking just then. I heard him. 
<laughs> it was not interesting. <laughs> the, 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 the people were telling me they like to listen like one time and then they get sick of Chuck's voice. Is that right? That's what. People, Is that right? That's what the people were saying. What were you saying, Opie? It's hard to say at this point, <laughs> but you know, I'm making fun of Jay about something. But don't worry, it'll come back around. <laughs> All right. Well, a couple of uh, are really one or a couple of uh, things to recognize this morning. The West Lawrence High School bass fishing team crowned state champions this past week uh, weekend. So, congratulations, Justin Marsh, um, Ryan Souls, Ryan Souls, so- what's the you know? JT, JT, Gosh. not Bowers, not Bowers, not Bowers. So, two man team went out there and uh, won state and set a set a state record by four ounces. Right. So, yeah. Right? And don't forget the boat captain, Rodney, Rodney Souls. Souls. Rodney. So, yep. congratulations to the West Orange High School bass fishing team. So, state and championship it, there. And if you saw the fish that they brought in, they nice. were some hogs. They were. Yeah. Nice. They did a little bit better than those folks down at Sportsman Club fishing tournament this past weekend. What's the Slightly di- better. Different, yeah. different type of fish. Well, and a <laughs> and, uh, guy named Opie Howell I, I met this past weekend. Did Opie not to be confused with Opie Hightower. Not, same Degree. color hair, surprisingly. <laughs> Uh, anyway, he wanted me to to be sure to say that a fellow named Matt Peebles, if you know him, he brought he they said he brought his fish to the weigh in in a in a sandwich bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. He'd already bit off of. It. He'd already part of. It. And then um, Will Mosley, uh, American Idol Will Mosley from Hazelhurst, Georgia, is now in the top five. So big things happening there. Got to show what is it made? What did Drew say? Tuesday, May the. Not this coming Tuesday, but the next one maybe. Got the yeah, that hometown following. hero. Mm-hmm. My question was, the hometown hero was already scheduled before. Do they schedule them all? And then, it's like you have the home, you think you have the hometown hero even if you're not in the top five? Yeah, I don't think the hometown hero is just for him, is it? I think it's a, f- a fundraiser. No, I think. If I well, I think how Idol does. I think each of them go perform at their home. Oh, They're okay. their hometown. They have a parade okay. for I them. Understood when he was telling us about that. I so. look disgusted at you right there for not. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> for not knowing just, that, just judgmental, not disgusted. You got to get get <laughs> the looks right. I'm sorry. He's still. Angry. I misunderstood uh, uh, Drew's explanation Saturday. I'm pretty sure, based on my past experiences with American Idol, they do that. They'll they go to have a little parade and. That would be their next performance or whatever. I so, don't have a past experience with American Idol. So. And you've been missing Neither out. Neither does Chuck. Neither does. Other than watching the show. Well, that's what he's referring to. Up and I'll get Big Kev. Big Kev will f- How else would I have they're watching the show. <laughs> it's a past experience. It's like you've been on the show or something. No, I've watched it, clown. I mean, is that an experience? You need to take another week off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to Will. Uh, according to Jay, you know, he's... Now I know our listeners are falling. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been on her. I haven't been on her. That's so. why. Well, they were following y'all's fault. They were, couldn't have been more up last week. No, no, you, you're the opposite of what she said at the beginning. Of the show. Uh, well, uh, Will's supposed to be coming to play at the White Trash Bash at Jay's this year. Over, under, whether he comes or not. Yeah or no? What you think? No. Nah. Jay had him penciled in before he blew up on Idol. Right. So, no. Not he'll, he'll be there. He will not be there. There's one thing I know about William Big Mo Mosley. And you do know him well now. Mm-hmm. You had experiences with him. My past experience. Your past experiences. <laughs> You've had as many experiences with him as he has with American Idol. <laughs> He'll be there. He'll be there. Will Jay have to come out of pocket? Yeah. And I, and matter of fact, I, I'll I'll pay out of pocket too. I'll give him some. Does it, do you think this translates into the white trash bash now becoming entry fee at the gate? Oh yeah. And sweet Reza yeah. there sitting in a mm-hmm. chair, collecting as they come in, so we can pay Will. Mm-hmm. Huh? What kind of price are we looking at? Twenty ahead. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in on that for sure. Yeah. You Hope already. Out. I mean, you already had to pay for the food, but y'all don't well, normally come. Some so of us pay. Y'all don't normally come anyway. So some of us pay. I, he's I was had here two. For the last one. Hold on. He's had two, and I've been to the first one. I couldn't come. Oh, that's right. One. I forgot when y'all got last place. I had to jump in the pool. That happened. It was Jay's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Drive behind me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll update on the white trash bash coming later, later. But um, now I was hoping Jay was going to be here this morning so we could. Uh, but and, and Mitch ain't going to have a whole lot to say here, and, and it's not because he wasn't invited. But we were planning to play golf this weekend. Oh, I was not invited. <laughs> but it was just going to be a few of first, us. First, first I'm hearing of it on the show today. <laughs> first I'm hearing of it. Hey, that's all right. Though. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, really? 
<laughs> this is two weekends in a row, dude. So we were. Are gonna, you freaking serious? No, it was a turn. It was a turn. It was all right. It's all right. It wasn't originally. We were just going to play, and then Jay was like, "Hey, they're having a tournament. The Promises of Hope tournament at Riverview. I'll pay. Do y'all want to play?" And we were like, "Sure." <laughs> so you really need to take that up with Jay. He's not here. No, it's all right. It's cool. But we played, and we just need to update on play that day. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, we ended up six under, tied for second in the second flight. So overall, that's about you know, conditions were soaking wet. Hey, it's coming weekend. You want to play golf without me again? Real busy. Yeah, tired. <laughs> this uh, hey, we'll, t- hey, we'll, t- hey, we'll text in our other group. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, uh, there was a guy there on our team. Wow. Uh, that hit maybe three shots that were useful. The entire 18 holes. And you're saying, yeah, and, and there's a big maybe. I can recall two, two putts. And that's not to say that somebody wouldn't have rolled it in after him. Yeah. No. Zero chance. Putt. I've seen y'all put zero chance. First of all, let me just say. Hold on. We didn't say a name. It's Opie. It was me. Okay. It was me. I'll, I will come clean about that. It was a rough day. Boy, it was hard to <laughs> It was. It didn't seem difficult for, for, for you bus, at all. Best Nation, I just want you to know, too, is we're in a uh, Snapchat group. Normally, if they like go play golf or do something like that, they'll take pictures. So apparently, there's another group that I'm not in because there's no pictures of them playing golf. <laughs> we didn't take any pictures. We, we didn't do that. It was too wet. But, Rainy but Adam did invite me to come out here and eat, though. I guess. There we go. Thank you, Adam. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I mistakenly assumed. Free of charge. He mistakenly invited you. No, no, no. <laughs> James was mad about it. I mistakenly assumed that you were included on the golf because I. But, I'm not the one that gets this stuff together. I just I got you. you're part you of you would have invited me. You thought yeah, we were I thought you were five coming. man scramble. What no? Yeah, but yeah, then it I turned it, into yeah. a scr- uh, a tournament. So then I was like, okay, well, only four people can go, and I'm I'll be there. Chuck will be there, and I, I mean, and here's what Chuck will do. Here's what Chuck will do. After the fact, after everything's already organized, well, if you really want to play, you can take my place. If you really want, to I, did, I said that last week. <laughs> I have you, you can take my place. I have hardly said that last week. Really hoping you wouldn't take it, I, and I wasn't. Well, thank you. All right, back this weekend. But Jay, Jay spearheaded this whole thing. So at the end of the day, I brought the whole ball, but I really only touched the top half of it. So that boy wanted to dimples out on the top half of that ball. If he topped it off once, he topped it off. 30 times. You, you know how you get up there and hit every now and you just have a couple of holes where you just hit a bad, <laughs> like a top, like just a bad shot, and I do mean it never stopped for Opie. I, and, and it did not. I hit one good drive all day. And okay. it was probably it, your second swing on that, too, because there was a lot of times he'd put he'd tee it up, hit a worm burner, and be like, oh, man, what is going on? And he'd put another one down, worm burner again. <laughs> Well, well, she just got to shoot your way out of it. It's like on Tin Cup. There's a it, it was worse than Tin Cup. It was worse than anything you've ever seen before. It was one of the – it almost made me want to quit golf. You should turn your head around backwards and pull your pockets up. It was bad. Now, yeah. conditions were not ideal. They I'm, I'm not they blaming weren't. what I was doing on conditions, but – Sounds like, like you are a little bit. But I will say – However. <laughs> it, mentally, well, I was – ride with Chuck? No, but Chuck was in my ear the whole time. He was really dragging me down. I guarantee he was negative. He was I so guarantee. negative. He kept that. accusing me, me of being negative, and all I was doing was commenting <laughs> on the lightning that was flashing around us. Hi, Tyler. Was he negative when we got there? He is so negative. I was Thank not. You. We're not. So pl- we're not playing today. The, we're not playing. Was, what what are we even doing? Why are we here? <laughs> and then the whole time on the course, just. Man, this, this, y'all, y'all, this is not this. Why are we here? I can't believe we're out here. Conditions are bad. What? Why can't I hit the ball? It was just everything was that, negative. That part was not true. I remember hearing all that. That I'm part was that. not true. But so listen, the, the first is hole true. is still pouring down rain. I, I've got my hood on. Yeah, hole ten. Not pour. It, it was, was pour. It was pouring down rain. I've got my hood on. I go to swing. My hood comes over my eyes. I don't even see the contact. Hey, did he miss the ball? Several people. Two two other groups watching mine. <laughs> Listen, he would have rather missed it. He hit it off the end of his club, and it trickled into the water right to his That's left. That's not true. It went okay. very quickly into the water. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what I'm saying is uh, mentally I was not prepared because I thought we weren't going to play. And it really shook me. It took me – but it's like – It took a, him 18 holes to <laughs> let it go. If y'all would have played another it was 18, tough, yeah. you'd have been. No. But I still put it better than these clowns. And no. out, of, out of the, I guess we had maybe six birdies 
I had three of the birdie putts. They were long putts. That's, that is not. They true. would not oh have. Gosh. They would not have place. made those putts. So, I, so, so putts. yeah, he told us on putting out of eighteen holes, those, he took two of his putts. Two of them were mulligans. No, hold on now. Two of them were mulligans. So I was literally the last person to put. You, you had two putts that helped us out of eighteen holes. The other one that I gave you credit for was a chip shot. I, I mean, I don't know, but he speaks this <laughs> <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. I mean, we should. Over, overall, overall, fun weekend. Though. It wasn't. Fun it wasn't. Got I mean, to come out and eat at Jay's. And, and Dexter meet came. I'm so wild. glad. I'm so glad you were. Wow. Had a good time. You should have came and ate with us, Law. Yeah. I, you wouldn't have been able to play anyway because you had your boys. I your probably, boys. I probably could have snuck out and play golf, but that's all right. Mm-hmm. I'm, I wouldn't matter. All right, guys, it is that time. Quick, uh, quick, fifteen minutes right there, and so we're going to take a quick commercial break. On the other side of that, we are going to take bra- talk Braves baseball, UGA baseball, and. We have an exciting round of the Bus Cup, so y'all make sure you stay with us. We will be right back. New year, new financial goals. Whether it's saving, investing, or planning for the future, we've got your back. Visit Bank of Dudley today, and let's make 2024 your year for financial success. Bank with confidence at Bank of Dudley. Since 1905, member FDIC. This is Brad Meeks, owner of Brian's Giant Subs. Thanks for listening to the Big Ugly Sports Podcast. Come see us today to grab your favorite sub, 1632 Veterans Boulevard in the Oaks Shopping Center, Dublin, Georgia. J2 Streaming Services. With over 9,000 live channels and packages starting at $15 per month, you literally can't beat it. Visit them on the web at www.j2streaming.com. Proud sponsor of the Big Ugly Sports Show. For all your HVAC needs, please call Elite Comfort Solutions. We specialize in commercial and residential HVAC. The number is 833-483-HVAC, and the website is www.EliteComfortSolutions-Inc.com. Call for a free quote today. Big Peach Car Wash, coming this April across from Walmart on Highway 80. I hadn't washed my truck in five years. I'm breaking that streak this April. Every time we come back for every single, it's like they don't know when it's in. You have the last commercial every time. Welcome back to the Big Ugly Sports Show brought to you by the Bank of Dudley. We are here for segment two, and we just yet muted. again, we have people talking, coming back into the break. So I apologize to Bank of Dudley for, you know. We were muted anyway. There's a reason for that. The only one but you can did. still, I, I mute them, but you can still hear it in my mic when I come yeah, back. Yeah, that's on me, guys. I Thank apologize. You, Thank you, Adam. Well, it is, you know, I'll be honest with you. There's something that's really got me thrown off here this morning. <laughs> is it the heat in here? It, it's, it's the subpar performance of my big brother, <laughs> OP Hightower. You need to step up. So in what way is it subpar? How would you like me to well, improve? Well, how many categories are there? <laughs> in what way is it not? in all of those if need to improve. Okay. Just take that, take that work with it. Just a little <laughs> constructive criticism. You need to. Hey, it. we're being slightly funny here. Does Opie call you on the way home? Like, man, man, what can I do differently? Like, I can't even get out the, the driveway here. Man, do you really mean that? <laughs> <laughs> that has never happened, not once. Oh, so. I mean, I do call you when we leave here, but it's not to discuss my performance on the show. <laughs> it, it, I, for those people that are not watching YouTube, my face. He's baffled. I'm flabbergasted. Right now. <laughs> Dude, I hope he changes on that mic. Well, huh? I tell you what, he is spinning a yarn here this morning. That is a life I've heard of. Listen, ever since we backed him in the corner with golf, he's come out just yes, he's he's back <laughs> I, This is a side of him. I mean, normally, life after life. You know, I, I shouldn't be surprised. Like you, I, you, you're not a guy of integrity based on all of our <laughs> discussions over sports and the way parents should treat their children and everything like that, and the way athletes get rid of metal cleats. And oh man, he's just. So how does that what, tie what into he say integrity? At, what did he say at golf the other day that we, What there was he had a take on something at golf at, that we that we put in that category I as well. Know, I, I tried the best I could. It was Regal McIntyre being oh, overrated. Yeah. Yes, I'm so glad you remember that. The people need to know. I, I mean, the, 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 the night the lights went out in Georgia came on, mm. and and I was really into it because I like Reba. Classic. And I, yeah, and everybody loves that song. And I was like, man, she's a national treasure. She's really good. No, nah, she's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you know, the only time I really enjoyed one of her performances was on Tremors. It's a great movie. It is a good movie. It is a good movie. But However, that's not peak Reba. No. I mean, that's... Fancy? That's an opinion. Fancy I mean, was fancy. I'm not saying she doesn't have value. I, she's a good singer. Back in the 90s, 
It was a good. I mean, is she a hall of she famer had in the music industry? Yeah, I okay. think. Yeah. Well, then now you got to be good to do that. You know, yeah, what? I'm not saying she's not. Hey, good. you know what? She's saying great. she's a hall of famer. I'm saying for my Hank Aaron, overrated. Greg Maddox, <laughs> Tom Glavin, Chipper Jones, overrated. Bobby Cox, overrated. <laughs> I can't, well, I, mean, I that, can't have an opinion. I can't have likes and, and dislikes. And you have, have been known for a real cold take now. <laughs> they call him Captain Cold Take is what they call him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, for me, for yeah. me, this is my list, yeah, yeah, as yeah, I was going to say. This whoa, is my list. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He ain't done this in a while. <laughs> that might be why the numbers are done. That probably is. I'll bring one back next week. For my list. Top five reasons why he's an idiot. <laughs> 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 that's five good. reasons my brothers disappointed me. <laughs> yeah, me and my dad will get together on that. <laughs> All right, before Opie gives another cold take, it is time, y'all, for this edition of the Bus Cup, brought to you by Blackshear Ooh. Beverage. So, the first law you're not really gonna like. Do this. I need to Hold take on. my top off? Do I even <laughs> yeah. need yes, to you should <laughs> always take your top off. <laughs> so you're going. That's to keep, not even a question. You're going to keep your points here, but the first, the first three questions, uh, the first three questions are verbal. We're okay. just going to yell them out, yeah, and then I'm just going to yell them all out before anybody else. <laughs> just give him three points and move on. Okay, here's how we're doing this. Okay, <laughs> you're going to get a point for each of these that you get right. Okay. So, Law. He just cheated. Law cheated. <laughs> I can see that little bit he writing. Law cheated. I'm not sure. If he, he, comes, if he comes out the gate right here on fire, he cheated. That's weird. It's, Normally, Adam's the one that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. So, I'm going to call out a question. There, there's going to be like four answers to each. And so, you call them out. And if you if we deem you get it, you get a point for that. You keep a tally mark going for that. And then the last question is going to be the fun one, okay? Oh, you said there's four four answers each to each question. <laughs> yeah, five to the second one, okay. yes. Uh, Hold on. If we yelling stuff out. Well, you don't have to yell it. Just say it in the mic. We got it. Let's move on. But, Let's so go. I get a point for every one I yell out? First. Every one you get right, yes. <laughs> in the first one. Yes, how that works. You're going to put a little tally mark over there. All right, here we go. Here we go. So no Jeopardy music here because we need, we need silence. Out of the three big sports, name teams, name team names that have the letter J in it. Jets. Okay. Jaguars. Yep. On the list, there's one baseball, one basketball left. <laughs> I can just imagine if Jay was here, he'd say the Angels. <laughs> uh, what sport is it, Chili? He's one baseball, one basketball. Uh, one baseball. Yeah. AL East is one of them. It's Blue Jays. There you go. Ooh. AL East. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And then basketball, you said? Basketball. Trying to think. Magic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can give you all a hint right now. Y'all ready for it? It's got to be a quick trigger, though, because it's going to yep. give it to you once uh -huh. I get it. Okay. Carl Malone. Jazz. Man. All right. All right. So, Heights, through the first question, three. Trash. Law one. Hope first none. of all, you shouldn't give hints. Well, it was, we, the we, people were in here. Silence. I was, I, was, was I, was about, I was about to say jazz. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the tip of my tongue. All right. Here we go. There's five answers to this one. Out of the big three sports, so we're talking NFL, MLB, NBA, name the five teams whose team name, meaning like Braves, not the not the city, whose team name starts with the letter M. Marlins. Magic. Marlins. Magic. Mavericks. Mavericks. Mets. Mets. One more baseball. Marlins. Oh, you already said Marlins, didn't you? Mm -hmm. One more in baseball. Come on, gentlemen. It's easy. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the list. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I got another hint. I'll give it Go straight away. It. Do y'all all want a hint? Yeah. Sure. King Griffey. Mariners. Mar Mar <laughs> Boy, I am not. I am not good at team names, man. This much. Are you on the board up? No, I'm not. Ooh. He's got a little squiggle. Let me erase that for you. <laughs> <laughs> a little preemptive. <laughs> all right. All right, here's the the next one. Four answers to this one, okay? Okay. Out of the three big sports, uh -huh. can you name the four team, and he's got in quote, locations. He says, think first names, not team names. All right, so city names. Cities. That have the word new in New them. Jersey. New York. Yep, yep. New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> How many of them are there? Four. Two more. New England. Yep. 
You said New York, New Jersey. No, New Amsterdam. England. Thank, mm. thank, thank Falcons. New Orleans. Yep. Ooh. All right, give yourself uh, one, Opie. You're on the board, buddy. Thank Falcons. Yeah, yeah Falcons conference. division. I didn't want to give it. You weren't going to guess anyways because your mind don't process that fast. So Why does Opie get a point? Because he, he got one. He said, one. said Marlon. He didn't say that. I had to just run away with this. All play. right. Here we go. Dry erase boards, okay? Here we go. Thank God. Two points each on these. Two points each. Okay, yes. that's a good way to come back. Two Paul. points You're each. You're only down five. And this is just going to be pure luck. You're down. I'm going to give you seven. I'm going to give you seven seconds. I don't like seven I, seconds. Let's don't time. Y'all, y'all put them where I can't see it because I don't have a dry erase board. But y'all got to match me. Okay. okay, so I'll just announce mine and then y'all will say, but I don't want to see what y'all are writing, okay? What? You already got them right now. It's going to be something that I, you have to match my answer. So y'all are going to write it down. I'm going to announce my answer and see if you have it. Okay. We've done, like done this before. Is that hard to follow? We've done this no. before. We've done it. Okay. This. this might be why our show numbers are dwindling. <laughs> Preview. <Yeah. laughs> Let me find. Okay, here we go. All right. Two points each. So I want you to think of this. What am I going to say right here? Matt blank. Matt blank. <laughs> Four. And we might not get any here. Three. I don't two. <laughs> I can't think of that. <laughs> High tower is what I was going to say. High tower is so what I got. It's not High Tower. I put Olsen. Ryan. Sucks. <laughs> oh, I like that. You're, you, right. like, you like to lash okay. out. All know. right. Nobody gets there. <laughs> All right. Good job, Mitch. All right. Here we go. I said High Tower. Atlanta. Said sucks. Atlanta. The was also. You didn't write anything down. It's on the dry race board. Atlanta blank. Atlanta blank. I already got mine open. Are you going to be a douche? Atlanta I blank. Bet you, I bet you got All right, here we go. Yet. Three, two, one. I've got Hawks. I knew you were going to go Hawks. I knew I you were going to say Hawks. Why is he like that? All y'all put Why Braves. Why is he like He's that? He's so gay. This you dude, know he this dude put Braves and said he knew I was going to go he, Hawks. You, I did. Well, then why didn't you go Hawks? Because I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it is. That's fair. That's fair. All right, here we go. Blank iron. Blank iron. What? What it says on here? Blank iron. I don't freaking know. Three. Nothing. Iron. This was a hard one. I don't. I didn't really know where to go with this one. Three, two, one, seven. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it was seven, seven iron. iron. Pump iron. <laughs> Pump iron. <laughs> like lifting yeah, weights. Look, and again, Law's making fun. He didn't write anything down. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't mean, I mean, that's ridiculous is what that is. Dude, seven right, here iron. we go. Here we go. I, and I'm going to give you all, listen, I'm going to give you a quick. Oh, that was two points. Boom. I'm going to give you a quick hint on where my mind is on this one. It's probably going to throw you all for a loop, but this is, this is going to help you get in there, okay? And we the, said seven at the same time. The next wow. one is blank <laughs> clock. Blank clock. And my hint is Usher. Four, three, two, one. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. He did not say o'clock. I said. Well, O is what I was looking for. Seven o. I mean, you just went clock. It's not seven o'clock. Well, here. He just said seven. That's all he said. Hold on. Do you remember when we did this and it was Magnolia Lane, and I said Magnolia Lane, and he didn't, and you gave him the point. I'm getting these points. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right. Last one. Last one. Good job, Lock. Did- I had this it. man Law definitely wrote he, he that. Literally just no, I, <laughs> I had nine. We'll, I had nine o'clock. We'll give you and seven. Like, give yourself two. Give I, yourself I already did. Yeah, I already did. did. I already gave myself two. All right, last one of this one before well, we get to the last round. Why you me two? Here we go. Right, second and third may hinge on this. Here we go. Blank dog. Blank dog. See if y'all think where I'm at on this one. Five, this game is so four, stupid. three, two, one. I got crime dog. Be a dog. Be a dog. That's a good one. I just got it tuned in. (laughs) I got it tuned in. Shout out. I already had three points. All right. So here's here's where we at right now. Heights got twelve. It looks like Opie three three Law Law's got three. Okay. So here here's a big round right here. And the way this is going to work is it's the fastest to do it. Um, And I hope you can do it pretty quickly because if not, I'll have to go back and edit this, cut it down, so the people don't have to sit in silence. But. The first person that gets it correct gets four points. The second person gets three. The next person gets two okay. in this round alone, okay? 
So erase your boards if you can with your hand, or just on the side. That's fine. You don't have to erase your board, but draw a tic tac toe board somewhere on there. Tic tac toe board. Tic tac toe board. Let's see how stupid this game's gonna be. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. And first to do it gets gets four points. You have to place six X's, hold on, in the available nine spaces without making three in a row. Go. Six X's, can't have three in a row. In the meantime, let's take this time to thank our sponsors, Bank of Dudley. We appreciate you. Brian's Giant Subs. Looks like Opie has put it down, Opie. Okay, and then Law. And then height coming in last. Okay, okay, good little round there. Opie, give yourself four. Law, give yourself three. Height, give yourself two. So at the end of the Buzz Cup, today's round, uh, looks like height is going to add four more points uh, for winning today. Opie will add, come in second with seven points. He'll get three. And then Law, the few, the proud, coming in last, and we'll give him. <laughs> him so stupid. Don't don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that loses and sore about it. You know what I mean? Like nobody wants to see see that. Uh, did my boy send these in, or did you come up with them? He did. All right, good. Uh, oh, so now, better. It's more better. It's better now. <laughs> <laughs> it's more better than your crap. So at the updated Buzz Cup standings after today, height uh, just stepping on his lead with forty five points, just proving <laughs> everybody is an idiot compared to him. Opie in, <laughs> Opie in second with thirty six, Law in thirty two, and Jay stays stagnant at twenty eight. So uh, he's pretty much got last. I got, place a, so uh, I got a couple couple things here for the show. He's not last. Oh, uh, not last. One one no. one one of our most loyal listeners, Noah Garanto. Uh, he wanted know. to know how many push-ups we could do. Mm. And and it was really a joke. He said, how many push-ups? And then he was talking about push-pops, how many push-pops. But, but then we started talking about I was like, man, that would be really good for the show. I wonder how many push-ups each of us could do. We had this competition at the Sportsman's Club one night. How, how many did you end up with? Boss man one. Well, so anyway. I actually came in second. I can't. I, listen, my buddy, I my probably buddy Chris, couldn't do, my buddy I Chris couldn't do me ten. About one. Five. I don't know. Yeah, I'll I'll tell I would like what. to see you off air. I think I had 50. Huh. You did 50 in, in a row. one set? 50, one? Three, 52. 52 in like a row. them out. Push ups. Okay. Law says Law's 52. Winning. It's never going to happen. That's going to be tough to beat. Okay. I, I was say, go for it. 30. Mm. I'm going to say for me, 10, maybe. 10 push ups? You can't Dude, do it 10 push ups? So a couple well, years a long ago. way down for these, and I'm weak. I mean, that's not, and I'm <laughs> fat. That's a bad combination. If any loyal listeners that attend the Sportsman's Club was there the night that I did the push ups. <laughs> but it was a young high school boy challenged me to this competition, smoke wagoned him. But then a buddy of mine who's a little younger than me, he, he did like 54. Huh, he did, was it when your belly touches or when your chest touches? I'm just. Uh, <laughs> oh, he was just sitting on belly and then pop back up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And so, then there was another when thing. I, when I smoke him at push ups. And well, that he, shouldn't be. He remember, hey, that guy was in the Marines and he did a, a lot of push ups. Based on our predictions right here, you're running away with it, Law. So, one thing you got to. So, we did, we did a competition at the office a few years ago. And at that competition, I got 60. But I was, I was in better shape than I was working out a little bit. You did 60 push ups? I did 60 push ups, correct. I'd have to see this. However,. However, the guy, who done won, the guy who won did, and I'm making air quotes, about 90. But they were all some of these push-ups. So do you think, do you think somebody no on another block. do you think somebody on another radio show right now is saying this guy one time Opie did and I'm doing air quotes sixty no 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 I did legit push ups this guy <laughs> barely moved his uh, his body down and, at all and I remember the for those that, for those that have never seen Opie he's <laughs> he's according to him six foot three hundred pounds so but, <laughs> not but he did sixty push ups okay so just get that in mind. <laughs> And so there was another I, I, thing. Sixty is not like an unreasonable amount. More than him. When and you talking about the bear over here? There was another thing. I could can you say? Can you think of any words in the English language that the first two letters are D W? Dwarf. Dwell. Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> not names. Dwindle. 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 That's impressive. Good job. Man. He's you so know. smart. 
Now it makes sense. You did 60. All right. It is time for our second commercial break. Uh, just a quick uh, commercial right here from the Bank of Dudley. On the other side of that, we are going to get to some Braves baseball and some UGA baseball. So if you've hung with us, stay around for that. We've got a lot more uh, coming here in segment three. We'll be right back. Bank of Dudley is proud to sponsor the Big Ugly Sports Show. Wherever you're listening to your favorite sports show, you can also be banking with your favorite bank. Bank of Dudley offers mobile and online banking platforms to make managing your money easy. Get on that Bank of Dudley bus. Bank of Dudley since 1905. Member FDIC. Welcome back to the Big Ugly Sports Show brought to you by the Bank of Dudley. It is time for segment three. Uh, thanks again to Blackshear Beverage for another edition of the uh, Bus Cup last segment. So um, it is time to talk a little Braves baseball. And obviously when this publishes, they will have played tonight uh, back home. But in quite a bit of a slump right now, I think they're two and six in their last eight games. Um, still sitting at like 20 and 12 overall, I believe. But um, is there reason for Braves fans to be alarmed at this point? The offense has – basically shut down essentially compared to what we've become used to pitching so dealing with some injuries and different things like that um, went through and played the Mariners a tough team and, and won one out of three I believe and then got swept in LA against the Dodgers so as Braves fans is this just a lull that we're going through or is this time to be a little bit worried what you got Oak? Well, for, it's a long season, and we're just getting started. So, you know, before Labor Day, you don't even pay attention to the standings. Or, or is it July 4th? Before July 4th, don't even pay attention to the standings. But, I mean, we're built to have a little bit of feast or famine. We hit home runs. We're, we're looking for the three-run homer, and we're not getting that right now. We're not built to play small ball, and we're not. So, we've got people slumping. Acuna's down, Olsen's down, Riley's down. They haven't done anything all season. Murphy's out. We've got our best pitcher down. So we're really, I think, fortunate to be where we're at. I think we're we're doing no well. And this time last year, we were struggling with, other than Acuna, all the same people. So, uh, you know, the only thing I'm worried about, I will say, like last week, I think we were talking about it was a foregone conclusion that the Braves were going to win the division. We're currently two and a half games behind. Three. Okay. Three. And <laughs> we're three. We're three, yeah. three. So long term, I think we're in trouble with the division. The Phillies are really good. Uh, they've snuck back in there, and we we're going to have a battle for that. But I don't know that that's a bad thing. I think that may be the best thing that can happen to us is to stay with the pack and have to stay competitive, unlike we were last year. Yeah, man. I tell you what, this guy brings so much credibility. He does. To the show. That's one thing with his, about it. With his sports knowledge. Especially in comparison to everybody else. Oh, man. Hey, thank you for what you do. I, I don't see anything. <laughs> I don't even see the joke there because that is 100% true. <clears throat> Chill, do you remember where this, where this stems from? Yeah, yeah, when he made that comment. I remember. I remember like it was Saturday. Yeah. Law, you weren't here, unfortunately. And I, I wasn't, wasn't, I wasn't I invited. You were invited. <laughs> I wasn't invited. You were invited. It was here while, was we, were here. Eating, while we were eating supper. And, uh, Matt was going around telling everybody what their place was on the show. Well, that, well, mm-hmm. that's a little misleading. Mm-hmm. You uh-huh. asked me. You specifically asked me who besides Chill was the most important person on the show. And then you were surprised that my answer was that you were the next. I was pumping everybody up about what their strengths and, were. And now I know And it took me a while. Okay. But I figured out why he was pumping us up so that he could then pump himself up and then not feel bad about it. I've, I never feel bad about it. <laughs> but you, you see where you oh, see yeah, where I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. That's why they do it, Perry. But anyway, thank hey, you. I pumped y'all up first, then pumped yourself up higher. Right. About I can tell you, I can tell you, he read that in a book: how to win friends and influence people. <laughs> <laughs> pump people up, then pump yourself up, and then they're okay with you pumping yourself. I don't think that's. I've read that book multiple times. That was not in the book. I wouldn't be surprised if you felt like they should add that chapter because you said it. I mean. I, I, think, I probably had my own book. A little beard rub on the mic, right? A little bit. All right, what you got? Hi, uh, call no, I, I, do, I really agree with everything he said there. Um, I really do. What that, a, I mean, that was that was a really good sports take by you. Uh, first positive good thing you've done all morning. So uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, but yeah, I, I agree. I, it's, it's, I'm not worried about. It. I saw in the standings we were we were back. We had a tough uh, West Coast road trip. Um, but it's a long season. I'll check back later. Well, where you at on it? We're tied for the fourth best record in baseball. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I ain't mad at him. Now there is a Facebook group that that I that I'm in, and those people will they will 
live and die by every game. They're always questioning everything Snicker I, does. I, yes. it, it's so no, I, I get on there sometimes just to look I at it. I will that comment every now and then. And tell people that they don't know what they're talking about. Yes. And then, and then, and <laughs> they're then, idiots. And then, I don't say that, you'll get in trouble for saying that. People are so soft these days. But anyway. You got the group. Be kidding so you got, there. you got, and like Opie said, and y'all have agreed, obviously, but our main hitters aren't really hitting, and we're 20 and 12. But, I mean, Matt Olson's batting 197. Uh, Acuna is at 268, which is okay, but that's really low for him. And, again, we're going to compare that to last year, which is difficult. But who would have thought, fast forward, let's just go a year ago at this time, that if we fast forward a year and said, Ozuna. name the leaders <laughs> of the team. The and Ozuna. The, the one all-star leader on, on the team. As I'm looking at ESPN right now, batting average, home runs, RBIs, on base percentage, and hits. Ozuna. He's leading every category. At this time last year, I think he was batting like 160. And uh, I think we're comparing him to Adam Hightower High School, which is, I mean, that's rock bottom. So, paltry. <laughs> <So, laughs> uh, but yeah, I remember that. I remember that show, and I remember us saying, oh, know, "I was ready to cut him." I was we, gone. We needed him to be hitting about two forty, two fifty, and hit twenty, thirty homers. And and he he ended up surpassing that last year, and he's on track to do it again this year. So, yep. yeah. So. Going back to the Braves overall, the you know in baseball there's a lot of times there's weird periods of time where you're doing the right thing and the results aren't there. Mm. The batting average on balls in play, the barrel rate, the exit velocity on hits, all those are there. They're in the top three or four in every one of those categories. I think they're in. I think they're number one in three of those categories. So eventually, or I'm, I'm sorry. Let me let me. Back that up. They're high on barrel rate and <laughs> exit velocity. They're low on batting average and balls in play. So go. it's going to even out over the course of the season. Right now, their launch angle is extraordinarily high, so they're hitting a lot of pop-ups. But that's going to come back down because uh, they're typically one of the lower launch angles. So After the game, uh, the last game against Dodgers, I was listening to, on the radio. They interviewed Snit, and he wasn't. You know, he wasn't concerned at all with it. He said, you know, like Matt Olson, he just feels like it's a click away, like just from – It's two barely, series, man. I yeah. mean, I mean, legit is two series. They had bad two series. Well, it's a good thing. They're back home tonight. Hold on. Uh, oh, I got a phone call coming. It's Billy Bean. He want to talk to Opie about money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good night. Yeah. So, Braves brave back at home tonight, a chance to – they had a day off. Uh, they had a day off yesterday, so chance to rest and get rolling again. Um, so, maybe they'll get back on track. Now, Opie, I know you wanted to talk a little UGA baseball. So, uh, what's, what's going on over there at, at Dog Nation? Big, big weekend for the for the Bulldog baseball team. Uh, and they were, they're ranked 19th in the country, so they're already doing well, but they've struggled within the uh, conference SEC play. They came in and swept Vanderbilt over the weekend. That's the first time that's happened in a while. And Vanderbilt is ranked 13th in the country. So those were three big wins. They need to get to, to 16 wins to to host uh, a regional playoff. So 16 in the 16 region? in conference. conference. Yeah, region. I went region. So uh, they're right there. They're heading that direction. Um, the but Charlie Conn and Charlie Conn. Another good. big big weekend. It's like seven games in a row with home run. The, the one I saw him hit on video yesterday, it's like they hung a curveball and he knew it was coming and he had an absolute So tank. he went out there and, and he told the coach before he went to bat, if this guy's still in there when I'm getting in there, Damn. I'm sticking him. Now, and where'd you catch that from? Were you there or just that's reports? From, it was reported. I uh, read, it, read it this morning. Okay. So got his ear to the ground over here. Does, I mean, it's a, you know, we're sports yeah. show. We should talk sports mm-hmm. every once in a while. That's yeah, know some insight. Yeah. So it's, it's just, it's, hard, but we're you know, intimidated. This kind of lends to why I'm the most credible person on this show because I actually read sports before I show up. Georgia's fifteen instead of just Georgia's fifteen. Nice. Well, I, it, it it probably depends on when you looked at it. I mean, if they maybe got updated, but that was a big weekend series. Uh, you know, a lot of what he's talking about. We we. Tried to discuss it before, but we kind of ran out of time before because um, they had they'd had some big wins over some some teams that tip, typically they they've been struggling with in the past few years. Uh, they still lost two out of three to Texas A and M a couple weekends ago. Um, so number one team in the country. Yeah. So, but anyway, it it seems like things are on a on a good trajectory uh, for them to to make a run this year so and condon's knocking on the door for all these home run records uh the overall 
career home runs there. And he, I think he's got 30, 33 this 33 year. 33 this year, which is, uh, I mean, the overall season record is pretty high. But since they switched to BB Core bats in like 2011 or something like that, he's right at the record for home runs with those types of bats. And can you imagine the dude's a walk on, former walk on? That's crazy. Where's he from? You know? He from Georgia? Yeah, he is. I can't remember the. Is he a? Is he a? Because uh, I don't follow college baseball like that. Is, is he? Will he be the number one pick? Yes. Number one overall. There's no pitchers yeah, well, or anything. There, before the season even started, they said he was the number one pick. Well, I, I mean, I've read a few things that said he was anywhere from one to four, but you know, still very impressive. And and I couldn't tell you the last time a guy that was on Georgia's baseball team was getting this much hype. So I guess Gordon Beckham maybe. Yeah, a while probably. back. I wonder. I was just trying to Google, and the only thing I just googled UGA baseball number one draft picks and Charlie Condon popped up. But I don't know. If, has Georgia ever had anybody go number I'm one overall? I don't know. I know. So that'd be that'd be neat. I'm anxious to know where. I need to find out what kind of bat he's swinging and get it for get it for Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've already got the the Bruce Bolt. Yeah. Hey, uh, Brooks got the call yesterday or Sunday. Brooks made the Dudley All Star team. So. Fired up about that. <laughs> two minutes I tried, later. I, I two minutes later. That is phenomenal right there. Well, that don't, that don't work. Yeah, I was looking for the applause. I couldn't find um, them. So. so we're moving into coach was, pitch. That's what I was doing. And <laughs> yeah, two applause. Uh, coach, or excuse me, kid pitch. So the, ain't that crazy? The you, whole season is coach pitch. You go to all stars, exactly. kid pitch. You know what? Uh, what I heard Rawls does is on the they do a weekend game. Uh, once a month, you have a weekend game, and they let the kids pitch on the See, I heard that they did half the season coach pitch, half the season kid pitch. What it's from what when when my boys used to play, it was the same thing. Is you play we played coach pitch all year. Originally, we played pitch machine, mm. and then and then you got in there, and then you had your kids pitching in the all star game, yeah. and they'd never pitched before, so uh, it was a big meanwhile big turnover. Meanwhile, and it was crazy. Meanwhile, we're smoking Ross. like. Their 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 kids already know how to pitch, and we're still beating them up there. This That's is Warner, Warner Warner Robins All Stars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, Brooks is right now. He's on the shelf with his arm. He he heard it playing wiffle ball on spring break. Tommy John. Yeah. <laughs> him, and, him and Strider. Well, he so he struck your brother out actually playing with ball in Corey Hobbs front yard. <laughs> and, not very athletic, in case you had, in case and, you had and that's how he hurt his arm. He was, I mean, just bringing it. And I kept, dude, like back off, just chill out, stop doing. And you know how little little kids are. He's competitive. He wants to strike everybody out. Meanwhile, me and Corey hitting tanks off of him. But <laughs> anyway, and he hurt his arm and. He, and I just uh, it's been this is this will be week four that he's not I hadn't let him throw anything. Hey, so maybe Brooks will get to feeling better. I had my first experience with travel ball uh, this week, and I went, I went and watched. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Chuck. I'm not even one of that comment. Go ahead, Chuck. His earphone. Let me. They're not. They turned up. They are turned up. <laughs> <laughs> but now I went and watched my niece play. They played in Dublin. Uh, she plays for a travel team called Velocity or whatever, and they end up getting second out of 23 teams in uh, in their league. But she's. I have a big family naturally. Big kid, me and well, Ray Ann, my niece is tall, and um, she's she's a bigger girl. And they uh they were playing in the first round of the actual games where it counts if you lose. So after after pool play and. It's like the bottom of the last inning. They're up three to one. The other team's got two runners on, and the game stops. Everybody's kind of like, it's hot first off. So I'm, I'm kind of ready for her to finish so I can hug her and, and get on out of her because I was sweating. I had the kids, and um, we're like, what's going on? You see somebody come from the booth in a red, like U.S. U trip. I don't know if it's U trip, whatever, comes down there, and they're standing on the field. And come to find out, protesting my niece's age. <laughs> <laughs> so meanwhile, she's the youngest on the team. So they had to provide birth certificate and and all this, and I'm sitting here thinking, and what I love a, what her. What a tool, man! That's what I said. Like you wait till now to do it, but I guess that I don't know. And she's the youngest; she was just the biggest out there, and that other team wasn't really big. But I thought, man, this is what travel balls. New parents yelling at each other, coaches telling our parents, wow. you know, chill out, relax. And I'd be, and the last ball she hit was hard. She did hit a hard ball to third. The third base made a really good play. But I told I told Thomas her dad, I said it'd be different. She's out here hitting tanks and striking everybody. She's <laughs> playing first base and. Is 0 for 2 since I've been here. So. Yeah. so that begs the question that I've always wondered. At what age does it stop being acceptable to say, man, your daughter's getting big? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Ray Anno. Good job, Ray. Proud of you. 
Good job, Ray. She's a ball player. She I works bet, hard. She I bet a hard. lot of the but audience thought when you said my family's big, like it was in number wise. Yeah. No, no. no. And, big, and then big, all big. of a sudden, the end of your story was not. They're they're huge, like General Mitz. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the hillside the family. Every for that. year we go to the beach. <laughs> but your she, sister's not. She's big. grinding out. She's down there working on the beach, pitching. Uh, every single day. She got me good last year, wanted me to catch sitting on the bucket until she shinned me up out here. And I was like, nope. I barefoot out here. I was like, nah, you good. You're going to have to work well, on that. We had some real competitive wiffle ball games down there in Daytona. Yeah. yeah. What age group did you say? She was she's with? 12, 12, 12 years. And she's actually still 12, I think, anyhow. But, yeah, so, proud. you know, she's doing really well, so proud of them. And I tell you, but that, that, that hole, when you pull up to the park, which I know y'all that play travel ball, and it's a different world out there now, like, yeah, there's campers. There's there's people riding around in a in a golf cart. Rangers right. and you know the grit. I'm thinking. I mean, it's a whole other world. We we practiced Sunday while that tournament was still going on. That softball tournament. I don't know if it's like one of the biggest in the southeast or what, but that is way bigger than anything I've ever seen. Man, there are people everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, listen, Southern Pines is a great huge. opportunity to have uh, the water park open. Yeah, they could have really made some money because. There were some people hot out here. Before we Good move man. on from kid baseball, I want to give a shout-out to my son, Jake. He finished up his uh, uh, five- and six-year-old season yesterday at the Little League. And Buck Benton's his coach. He gave Jake an award. Do it, Buck. But, uh, I think he called it the Smooth Glove or Smooth Fielder <laughs> Award or something like that. He, one of the games he made like nine outs, eight or nine outs, like catching and throwing, mm-hmm. and which in that league is a big, oh, yeah. really big deal. So, so, so anyway, he, Jake fired up. He got a certificate. And he said, Dad, does this mean I'm the best player on the team? You I was like, right, son. Yes. I said, no, no. I said, yes. no, you, no, I didn't tell him that. We got to keep him humble. Got it. You was thinking it means second, I'm the best daddy best. on the team. <laughs> That's what you were thinking. No, there's, a, there's a five-year-old boy on that team that can absolutely rake, throw, and catch. <laughs> so, no, not yet. All right, boys. Well, hey, another good episode right here, another good show. And it's time for us to play it on. Hey, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, make sure you get on the YouTube. <laughs> My on the YouTube. I, I, got, I got a little ahead of myself. I got a little ahead of myself. I apologize. Please check us out and subscribe on YouTube. Follow on YouTube. Uh, Facebook, Instagram. On the, Facebook. The big, <laughs> on the Big Ugly Sports Show. And uh, my bad for that. But anyway, here we are. Now. You the proud. You got anything? Slop. You got anything? <laughs> <laughs> Headed to George Southern graduation today. Yeah, no love shown there. War Eagle. War Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Who's graduating, Law? Uh, uh, Madeline, my, my daughter. Nice. So, yep. You okay. know what to do. Wherever you're at, Dad, day, wherever you're at, day, whatever you're doing, tell daughter. them what to do. I forgot. Tell them what to do. Get on that bus. <laughs> <laughs> Swish, swish, swish. Got the horn on the bus going beep, beep, beep. Got the horn on the bus going beep, beep, beep.